once again to my channel um so today i went for an ultra scan appointment it's so hot in ghana right now as the pressure is getting what worse and worse and worse the weather is also getting hotter and hotter and hotter yeah so um you know october is always set aside for breast cancer awareness every october of every year and breast cancer has affected a lot of women it even affects a minority of men too and um, women are always encouraged to go for ultra scan or mammogram test to see the condition of their breast you can do that self test by where you can uh, stand in front of the mirror and analyze your breast there's a way you do it yeah and um, so i decided to go for an ultra scan i mean if you have lost someone to cancer it's very very it's very very nerve-wracking you know to come close to terms with cancer is not funny at all I did it, I was very nervous, but I felt I just got out. I just got out of the hospital and these are my results. I went to URK. It's a very, very nice uh, diagnostic center. Forgive all the noise in the background. I stopped somewhere to wait for a friend. Yeah. So I decided to shoot this short video. So here's it, here's how it looks like. Yeah. And mammogram is, is usually for people about 40 years. And since I'm below 40 years, I just did an ultra scan. We always hope that nothing bad happens to us, but there's no harm in trying at all, yeah. Charlie, if I get some dunkle and hot food, the way I go chopping, look at the way I'm sweating, it's so hot, man. Okay, guys, so I'll see you next time. I'll see you in another video. Stand by. birthday party she's having a birthday dinner and so i'm on my way there i'm almost there i'm almost late but i'm gonna get there my friends are always saying i'm late but this year i've really tried my best i have worked on my lateness and i'm on my way so see you guys soon and i'll give you all the updates confused about um, taking turns yeah so it's how you see you have to regularize your regularize your speeding yeah so if i was just speeding Should i was excited uh, i was excited so like i was saying my first day i couldn't really regularize the speed yeah, when I yeah. Okay. so it was it was a sharp curve sort of yeah and i was speeding 
and then my car just screeched. You see what how it sounds? Yeah. Ah. I said bad, but I didn't look at anybody's anybody's face, Joe. I yeah, just boy, I just made a turn and left. I was still cruising, I was feeling oh, myself. Wow. It just first day of driving on my own, I was going to work, yeah. being daring. Hmm. Our cars were honky honky. I thought they were even giving me fans. <laughs> Anna. Fans, K. Me boot a beer. Me boot a beer. Me boot a beer. And I'm in a cruising world. We're in the streets, no so. In the oh, new yeah. one. New driver. New driver. Yeah, so that, that's what happened to me. Oh, wow. So someone had to speed up and then met me, like, parallel. Oh, okay. And then told me that Charlie, you're good, you're good. And, I, I just and that was your then. good Samaritan. Yeah. Because people just watch you in the room. Oh, yeah. Oh, a lot of wow. people were like honky honky. Yeah. They're really, really honking. Yeah. But you, were, you did good on your first day. Oh, yeah. Uh, but the first day, I really didn't want to sit in her car in the first day. <laughs> I was so scared. I thought I was going to die. She <laughs> crashes into a poor oh, man. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> By the time you just get a hangover, right? right. And yeah. now I'm a chat seven, like, hey. chat seven, like, you know. Hey. It's a hangover. And now I'm sitting in the car, but me, mom, I'm not afraid to say, she'll get a oh, cash. One, two, one, two. <laughs> Don't mind me. Hey guys. So, yeah, it's Sunday and I'm here packing a few orders. Um, someone is going to pick it up. Yeah. So, in case you didn't know, I have a side hustle, a side business where I make shit on. Yes, shito black pepper sauce. Um, if you're not in Ghana, shito is basically black pepper. It comprises of onion, ginger, garlic, and a few aromatic spices. And yeah, I think I make pretty cool shito. Yes. So, um, this is my biggest size. I'll link my Instagram page below in case you would like to follow. You should probably follow in case you want to follow. Yeah, this is how my label looks like. Yes, this is how it looks like. When I pack the orders, this is what I put on my bottles. Um, I have the biggest size bottle here. Yeah. And you can see I've, I've put my label on these ones. Hey, Charlie, sometimes the bubble is not coming, you know? <laughs> But yeah. Yeah, shito can basically be eaten with most things. It can be eaten with rice. People even eat it with yam, spaghetti, um, wache. Banku, my favorite. Banku and Kenke. I mean, if you don't like Kenke and Banku, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Kenke is the real deal, man. <laughs> I'm talking too much. So I'm gonna um, put this, put this on my bottle. Yeah. This is behind the scenes. So. that do you see it after that i just put my black pepper sauce and this is a very big bottle size chito and it's very affordable man so yeah
few stuff that I got. Things are super expensive, man. I would have done a haul, but I'm so tired. That's so much. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Everything, they're really, really intentional about yeah, it. Yeah, it is. It's a beautiful place. We'll still, we'll, we'll come back actually. <laughs> 